Hello, my pro banditos, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Uranium. I'm Papa Rodri. Last time we took down Venichi City's gym leader, Rosalind, and we obtained the Drama Badge. Today, we're going to make our way out of here, as we were told to make our way back to where we came from and go into that labyrinth cave that was previously blocked off. Let's go ahead and use a repel then, since we are going to have to go for another surf. We're going to have to dive back into the water. Get your surfboards ready, ladies and gentlemen, and let's go for a swim. Now, I haven't trained up our Pokemon any more than they were already at the gym, so we're going to be good to train them here. I know that we're going to have a lot of battles coming up as well, so it's going to be a good area to go at it. Let's make our way back through Route 13 and check it out. It's our good friend Theo. It's you, Rodri. I guess Bambo sent you. I'm training to challenge the Venichi Gym, which I guess you already beat. Yeah, I thought so. A little while ago, I'd have gotten upset and started crying about that. But I guess all this stuff's put that sort of thing in perspective. So right now, I'm just trying to make myself the best trainer I can be. But first, you want to battle? Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus our rival, Theo. So let's go ahead and jump into today's battle. Rival Theo's going to open up with a Splenda Foul. And we're going to open up with Yao Man. So let's see what Yao Man can do here today. Splendid Foul is level 39, and I'm actually going to switch things up here, ladies and gents, as I know that that Splendid Foul is going to be super effective on us. I also want to give you guys a very big thank you for all the comments you guys left me on the previous video. I asked you guys, what was the first shiny Pokemon that you ever caught? Got some really cool responses. Looks like a lot of you guys have found some shinies, and I'm glad to hear that. It's good that shinies are popping out for all of us. I feel like I always find a shiny whenever I'm playing a fan-made game. The previous game that I played, I also found a shiny. Then I found one here, the little spritzy, which was unbelievable. I don't even know what the odds of that are here in this game, but I bet you they're not that crazy low. So we probably got some really good luck there, because I haven't seen a shiny in uranium ever. So I have no idea how rare they are. The rain dance is coming out. You already know how Sabla is. Sabla is always out here trying to mess up our routine. Here comes the muddy water. I did manage to hit the sunny day though. You know how it is. I'm always going to put the sunny day out there when we're going up against our boy Theo. And now I'm going to open up with that air slash. And let's see what we can do to the Sabla. Now I am much higher level than the Sabla. Fox is at level 47 right now. So I don't think we have anything to worry about here. The Sabla is down ladies and gents let's see who's gonna be coming out next Myas medic okay and i went back and figured out that this pokemon is actually one of the evolutions from spritzy so spritzy has two evolutions and one of them is the Myas medic started asking myself too i was like so if we have the shiny spritzy and the Myas medic is purple then what color is it gonna be if we evolve the spritzy what would a shiny Myas Medic look like? That's for you guys to tell me, as I have no idea. It's purple, so would it turn like green? I think that would make some sense. Hero Loon is gonna be coming out, and let's keep it going. I got Fox ready to go. Here we go, we got Swiper No Swiping. Level 42, ladies and gents. Let's see what we can do against Swiper here. I'm gonna go for the Air Slash. And Swiper is out of here. No swiping for you, my friend. Let's see who's going to be coming out next. Dragoon grew to level 41. I have the XP share there. It's much needed. Here comes Metal Lynx, ladies and gents, level 43. My Lava Plume should take down this Pokemon. We have a really, really strong team against Theo. This poor guy. Metal Lynx is out, ladies and gents. And there we have it. So, to answer the question, my first shiny Pokemon was a shiny Sentret. I bumped into it when I was running around Sinnoh. We defeated our rival, Theo. You're always so much better. We got 30-10 for winning. Oh, by the way, Professor Bambo asked me to remind you to head north. Through that cave right over there. I'll catch up with you later. See you later, Theo. Now, I've also heard that Theo is hanging around here because you can battle him multiple times. So if you guys choose to do that, you can get some really bomb XP. I'm going to heal us up, and I'll be right back to enter the cave. Really quickly, while we're making a stop here in Venichi, we can make our way inside of this house, and this is where the Move Deleter and the Move Maniac are located. 
Now, if you guys remember, we taught an HM previously to Iro, so it is time to get rid of that bad boy, as there are so much better fighting type moves. So let's get a rid of Rock Smash. We now have the punching glove, so we can make our way through wherever we want, ladies and gents, regardless. It worked to perfection. We got rid of Rock Smash, and let's make our way back to the labyrinth. Our Pokemon are all healed up, so let's make our way inside of the labyrinth. We've made it to the labyrinth, and we're gonna have a battle, so let's jump right in. Pretty easy battle, and we got ourselves a battle? What the heck? Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Linkite. Level 38. This Pokemon is chained up to what looks like a Pokeball. Very strange Pokemon, ladies and gents. I was not expecting that, and I'm not sure what Linkite evolves into. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it down. We're moving on through the cave, and let's start going for a surf. A couple different ways for us to go. We can go to the east, we can go north, we can explore around. I'm gonna look around everywhere, see what we can find. I'm gonna make our way to the north now. I feel like this is looking pretty good. And we got ourselves a couple more Pokeballs. We got TM30 Shadow Ball, wow. Great TM for us to find here in the labyrinth. And we got TM65 Shadow Claw. So there we have it. I'll take those, those are great TMs. If you guys have any suggestions for TMs for me to teach our Pokemon, Make sure you guys let me know. I just taught Iro Brick Brick Breakity Brick 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 Breakity, which I think is gonna be a really good move. We got ourselves a Life Orb as well. Why are they giving us such good items? What's going on here in the labyrinth, ladies and gents? Ooh, another exit. I'm gonna go through it. I feel like this is gotta be the correct way. And we found a Barriotite. Okay, cool. So I'm pretty sure that's a Mega Stone. And it's not like we got a bear yet, so let's keep on going. That's everything here to the Northwest. So let's make our way back down. I did see a couple trainers over here. And then there's a path down. Let's go ahead and take this guy on. So far so good, so let's go up this way. We got ourselves a Max Repel, so they're pretty much telling us we're gonna be exploring around here for a while. And it looks like we are gonna have more battles coming up this way. So let's keep it going. Maybe I can dodge him for a little bit. Oh my goodness, do you see the amount of trainers here? I got me an Expert Belt though. Let me check that out. I'm pretty sure that is a really, really good item we just got. And I might be able to give that to one of our Pokemon. The Expert Belt, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It is a well-worn belt that boosts the power of super effective moves. And yes, I'm gonna give that to Iro then. I'm pretty sure it increases super effective moves by like 20%, which is pretty good if you guys think about it. So if you're doing some damage, you're gonna be doing some very big damage. Now let's go ahead and jump in. There we go, ladies and gents. We've been waiting for this since the beginning of this adventure, and Dragoon is evolving. As you guys just saw during that battle, I taught Dragoon Skyfall, and you need to make sure that your Dragoon has Skyfall when it levels up in order for you to get your brand new Pokemon. So congratulations, our Dragoon evolved into Dun Seraph. So now we have a Dun Seraph on our team. I've been waiting for this Pokemon since we caught our Dunsparce. So check it out, that is Dun Seraph, the dragon flying Pokemon. And would you look at it, it is huge. It's a special attacker and it's gonna be very, very strong. So now we have a dragon type Pokemon on our team, which is gonna be wonderful. I am super pumped for this. 
Let's go ahead and put Dragoon up in front and let's keep on going with the exploration of the labyrinth. Should I go up? I'm gonna go up. I feel like this is the right way. And we're gonna bump into another battle. Are you serious? This is a Linkite level 38 yet again, ladies and gents. How many of these Linkites are there here? I wonder if I can run for it or should we just fight it? I'm gonna go for a Skyfall here. Let's try out Dragoon's brand new moveset. And let's see how our boy is going to do here. Linkite is out. Look how cool our Dunceraph looks though. Awesome to have a Dragon Pokemon here joining us. Dragon Pokemon are definitely some of my favorites. Today's question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite Dragon type Pokemon? So make sure you let me know in the comments. I have a lot of Dragon type Pokemon that I like. I feel like I've used a lot of them during my adventures. I always make sure to get at least one Dragon type Pokemon. And here we go. We're going to be going up against another Linkite. Level 38. Okay, this is going pretty good for us so far though. I'm just gonna go for the Skyfall. If you guys are looking to catch one of these Pokemon, looks like you're gonna have plenty of opportunities. They are all over the Labyrinth. What is the Cursed Body? All right, well, at least we took it down. Nothing to worry about, Dragoon. We are moving on through. We are going deeper and deeper into the cave. I can't dive down here, ladies and gents. So I'm just gonna keep maneuvering on through. We got ourselves a Dusk Ball. Yeah, I'll take the Dusk Ball. Anything else over here doesn't look like it. And we have made it to Route 15, ladies and gents. Wow, we made it through the Labyrinth Cave. That was not too hard. It was a little long, but not too difficult. I hope that we're getting close to the town. My Pokemon could really use a refresher here. There's been so many trainers, so many people to battle. We've gone through so many different battles already. And we got ourselves... TM04 Calm Mind! Let's go! We've been getting great TMs today. Make sure you guys let me know what TMs you'd like to see on our Pokemon. There's a Fisher guy over here. Should I talk to him? I've been here all day and still nothing, not even a bite. I say hearing that over and over in my head. Anyway, kid, maybe you can do better. I mean, you can't be as bad as this is me. I guess that's why I'm a sailor and not a fisherman. Here, take this. I definitely won't be needing it. We got ourselves the super rod. Hey, would you look at that, ladies and gents? We aren't doing too bad here. We got ourselves the super rod and we are moving on through. We've also found a little house here. Sometimes these houses will have some goodies inside of it. Sometimes they'll have a nice nurse to heal us up. Let's go ahead and make our way inside. How's it going, nurse old lady? You want to heal up my Pokemon? Thank you so much, nurse old lady. Now, I'm not going to tell you you're my favorite nurse because I would be lying, but thank you so much for healing us up. And over here, it says my wife is always kind to passing trainers. She bakes the best cookies. Oh, thank you. I was just about to say where my cookies at. But thank you so much. We will gladly take the lava cookies and be on our way through route 15 so let's keep on going guys we got ourselves some cookies we're refreshed i'm feeling pretty good here i don't know about you guys i'm feeling great now we got tm24 thunderbolt let's go i'm getting the best tms out here let's keep on surfing then going further and further up see where this is going to take us I got an Ultra Ball. Great. Awesome. A lot of surfing here to be done. I feel like we're making our way to the other side of Tandor now. We have to be. We gotta be real, real close to the other side. I got an EVO light. Sweet.
was a great doubles battle. Make sure you guys take that guy on for the XP. Let's go ahead and make our way to the east then. So I feel like there isn't much left for us here to explore. Couple battles if you guys want to take these trainers on. As you guys know, I have a difficulty against water type Pokemon. So I'm skipping around and taking on the ones that we have to. We just saw a brand new Pokemon there called Titan Ice. And it was like the Titanic crashing into an iceberg. So I don't know who's coming up with these, but that's pretty creative. I don't I never thought I'd see the Titanic Pokemon. So it's pretty interesting. We've made it to Silverport Town! Where's that greeter at? It's cold up north. I can't wear my miniskirt every day anymore. I feel you, I can't wear my miniskirt around anymore either. It's getting chilly this time of day. Let's go ahead and explore around then, see what we can find here in this town. Let the children play at being pirates and ninjas. You know, you gotta watch out, there are actually some real ninjas out there. I don't think we bumped into any pirates yet, but we've seen the ninjas out here. Yeah, the ninjas are crazy kids, you need to watch out. Let's go ahead and explore around then, as we have made it to Silverport Town. A fresh sea breeze brings new promise. And doesn't it really? I can smell the breeze already, ladies and gents. Let's head inside here and say, what's up, Nurse Jenna? Jenna, Jenna, Jenna. What you been up to, Jenna? Your name's Jenny. You don't want me to call you Jenna? All right, well, that's how it's gonna go. Now that we're here in Silverport Town, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna explore around, see what we can get into, see what we can find, talk to the people in this town, and maybe, just maybe, we'll figure out what it is we need to do here in this place. I feel like we've been taken care of a lot, and we just made our way through a lot of routes as well. So let's head up here and see if there's anything going on. Is there a gym in this place? Or is it just going to be another way out? Looks like this is just going to be another way out. And this is going to lead us to a cave. So next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be continuing from here. Make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button as it really does help the series. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Uranium. Goodbye!